Yeah, so I studied a uh, Bachelor of Environmental Management at uh, UQ down in Gatton and I graduated in 2006. Yeah, so it was student life uh, back then um, and I was introduced to student life through um, morning Bible study and uh, yeah, Bible study was a really early time but uh, still went because a uh, great bunch of people who were running it. Um, we would do, eventually uh, moved on from that, uh, or grew from that, and we were doing O-Week um, outreach. So we had a cocktail, not cocktail, cordial stand, not a slip of the tongue, whoops, a cordial stand, and, and we had flyers and, and trying to um, yeah, reach the new students. Um, that developed into more outreach throughout the year, and um, as well as social activities, and um, yeah, a bit of just, Great fellowship as well, so great you know, contact with other Christian young people, which I um, yeah didn't have much of. So that was good. So I had um, I was I probably was involved with student life for the four years I was at uni. Um, yeah, incredible time of growth actually. You're a bit of a sponge when when you're a student. So um, yeah, I, I learnt the importance of regular Bible study and certainly learnt a lot about my faith. Um, through the Bible studies, so like the content. Um, but yeah, some fantastic skills in outreach, um, leadership skills, and um, but yeah, I was also involved with uh, the, um, the schoolies outreach programs, two years of schoolies, um, which was fantastic. Went down and, and yeah, got to again hang out with lots of people, but also challenged to, um, yeah, to speak to people about their faith where the opportunity arose, so yeah, it was great. But um, I now uh, live and work in Toowoomba and I work in agriculture research, so pastures research, um, and uh, which also has a extension side to it as well, which is a little bit like outreach to farmers, um, sharing information. Um, got married last year and um, yeah, we've been living in Toowoomba, well, we've been living in Toowoomba for a few years and um, I've been involved in my local church here. I get involved with worship leading. I've even had a crack at preaching because people are willing to give a young person a go. And um, yeah, it's, uh, I'll give anything a go really, but yeah, it's stressful. Preaching is stressful. I uh, have a lot of research to do before I do these things, but people are always encouraging. And uh, usually I get the feedback that I speak too fast. So I'm learning not to do that. <laughs> Um, learned the importance of, yeah, I guess the importance of a, of a group to, to be able to um, share your faith with, you know, so through a Bible study. I hosted a Bible study in my home for three or four years um, and I attend one uh, now, it's some, I've moved town so I attend another one. Um, yeah, it's taught me the importance of, um, yeah, being uncomfortable but standing up for what you I uh, believe, I suppose, and seeing opportunities um, in where you can uh, talk to people, and and it doesn't always have to the the old the old saying that you know you don't have to harvest, but you know if you can help plant the seed or if you can be just, a, just another link in the chain, another part of the story. So uh, yeah, it's, I've learnt lots. Thanks. Um, being a Christian in the workplace is. Uh, look, it's not the worst thing. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's like anything really, you know, you don't expect to have the same interests as everyone that you work with. And of course, every individual is different. So um, occasionally you'll come across people who have different views. And um, yeah, I've had the opportunity to, to stand up for what I believe in or express my discomfort, say, around, you know, a topic, you know, like guys, I'm a Christian, I just want to let you know that. I don't really think you should know this. Or something, which is not meant to sound like a buzzkill, but just to let people know that, you know, there are Christians out there still and, you know, ooh, we're a <laughs> Everyone. <laughs>